Do you put products in poly bags? Do you put a label on them? Do you ship things to fulfillment center? Are you so busy that you're struggling to find labor to fulfill the processes that you need? I'm Greg Bergeek, Vice President of Sales and Marketing at Pack Machinery. And if you answered yes to any of these questions, today I'm gonna to show you a couple different ways to improve your poly bag prep process. Our roll bag R785 is a great way to print and apply a label on a bag, open a bag up, and load it with product, seal it, in order to send to a fulfillment center. It works with electronics, liquids, soft goods, small items, you name it. In this video, what you can see is uh, liquids for spill containment being loaded into a bag. There's a suffocation warning already on the bag, and then a barcode and SKU label is printed and applied right on it. It's an extremely efficient way of improving your poly bagging process. In this next video, you see our roll bag R3200. The R3200 is great for improving the prep process of larger items, whether that be apparels, uh, books, you name it. Again, anything that needs to go in a bag, suffocation warning, and some type of label gets printed and applied on it. And for you high volume users that have large inline processes, our 6800 CSXL fulfillment bagger is a great way of improving poly bag prep. This is good for large items, stacks of multiple items, things that need to be done at high speed, maybe you automate the feeding or you automate the outfeed. Again, uh, clear material, suffocation warning, print and apply, barcode and SKU. These are just some of the ways that Pack Machinery can help improve your poly bagging process. Please reach out to us when you have a chance, if you have a need, and we can help you optimize your packaging operation. Thanks.